Peru is expected to remain one of the best performing economies in Latin America with solid fundamentals and strong policy frameworks. Over the last decade, growth was about 6% on average, which is two percentage points higher than the average for the rest of the region. And this strong growth was accompanied with low inflation and visible gains in poverty reduction. Now, growth in 2014 uh, slowed down markedly due to a combination of external and domestic shocks, but we expect the outlook to improve with growth recovery in 2015 and the medium term. So within this favorable outlook, we see still important risks. Uh, these risks um, stem primarily from the external environment and include, for example, an exposure to a surge in global financial volatility. For instance, if there were to be surprises about the lift off in uh, interest rates in the United States. Also risks are linked to uh, growth in China. Uh, China is Peru's main trading partner or if there were to be a renewed slide in commodity prices, in particular in metals. Now, Peru is in a strong position to face these risks, and uh, they have um, low public debt, high international reserves, and very strong policy frameworks that would help them maneuver if these shocks were to actually materialize. Peru has made impressive achievements in poverty reduction over the last decade. The poverty rate declined from about 60% in 2004 to under 30% in 2014. There has also been a, a visible drop in extreme poverty and in income inequality. These outcomes were helped by the strong growth of the last decade, as well as the implementation of ambitious social inclusion policies. As we expect growth to moderate over the medium term, it is very important to continue with inclusive policies to sustain these gains in poverty reduction. A key challenge for Peru uh, and for other um, exporting countries of commodities is that the super commodity cycle has now ended. So in the next few years, we should expect commodity prices to be much more moderate than in the past. And at the same time, we're expecting external financial conditions to be tighter given the expected normalization of monetary policy in the US. What this means is that uh, potential growth in Peru is slightly lower than what we've seen in the past. We estimate that it will probably converge to something around 4.5% over the medium term. And to boost this potential growth is critical to advance with structural reforms. Priorities include tackling informality, which is widespread in Peru, improving human capital and education, reducing red tape so that investment projects can be implemented faster and better, and also investing in infrastructure.